Okay, everyone, so today what I'm showing you how to do is how to restring your uh, Toro trimmer. I bought this at Home Depot. It's one of the cheaper ones they had, but the last one that I had actually lasted me like 10 years. So I was like, okay, definitely worth it. So your string has all come out. You need more string. This is actually the first time I've restringed this one. It's pretty interesting, but um, I like the design of it. It's pretty cool. So the way you're going to do this is there's two tabs on the side, one here, one here. You're going to push those two in and pull the entire unit out and then remove this piece here. Now the design of this spool is actually pretty cool. What happens is the string goes all the way through the center so you don't have to worry about it pulling out or anything like that. So the way you're going to replace this is get your new strand and I'm not sure the exact length that you want to get out of here but you've got to pull out the entire length of spool that you're going to be putting into your unit. I'm just going to pull a few feet out just so I can show you how to string it. Uh, the owner's manual may tell you how much length you need. I'm not really sure. I don't feel like going inside and hunting for the manual right now. I'm all dirty from cutting the grass and everything. But um, this is the process of restringing it. Just take the string, put it through the center. It'll pop out the other side. And you want to pull it to the middle of the, of the strand. So you want to grab your two strands, pull them out, and make sure they're equal lengths on both sides, which this pretty much is. Looks like one's a little bit longer than the other, but I'm not going to be too concerned about that at the moment. I just want to show you the process. So, you've got your strand all in there. The next part is to wind it. Now you can actually see which way you need to wind it, and whether it's on the top or the bottom, just by looking at this. There it is. So you can see the string lays right down in there, and then just wrap it up. Pretty cool. Actually it tells you this side is the outside and uh, gives you a little diagram there. But anyways you get the idea. Once you have this all spooled up, same thing with the other side. It fits right down in there. You wrap that one up. Once you've got it all spooled up, actually I'll go ahead and spool it up and then show you what you do next after that. So you've got it all spooled up. The next part is to insert it into the head here. And what you're going to do is take one string and put it through one side. Sorry if my head was getting in the way. I couldn't really see. I was trying to see that hole. And then take the other string, put it on the other side. If I can see what I'm doing, maybe. Okay, there we go. And then just kind of Use the string to help you get it into position <clears throat> and get it up into the head unit there. And then just take this piece and it's going to go right there where the holes are and snap it back into place. You're ready to go back out cutting grass. If you have excess like I do here, maybe trim that down a little. You don't want it to be too long when you first start out. And you're ready to go finish your yard. Thank you for watching. Make sure you check out my other videos. If you found this helpful, make sure you share it with other people. And uh, make sure you hit the like button as well. Thank you very much for watching.